see very seriously here at The Real. So we've all written questions for each other, and every day this week, we're taking turns answering them while hooked up to a lie detector. We're talking polygraph expert, professional interrogation, the works. You know we're the only show that's crazy enough to do this, right? All right, so let's meet our first victim as we kick off Hot Seat Week. <laughs> Are you ready for this? I never thought I'd be in one of these. Okay, well, please say hello to Mr. John Grogan, our professional polygrapher. So, John, welcome. How are you today? Very good. Are you telling the truth? Yes. Good to know. <laughs> All right, are you ready for Hot Seat Week? I'm excited about this. I'm very yes. excited about this. Well, let's begin. Tamara, <laughs> do you ever wish you were not a twin? Yes. Ooh. <laughs> truth. Really? Yeah. Sometimes you just want to be your own person, you know? Okay, but down to serious business. Okay. Tamara. What? Do you love the real more than sister, sister? Ooh. Shade. Yes. <gasps> well, all righty then. John, is that the truth? Definite truth. Yeah. yeah. All right, I've got a question for you, girl. Ooh, I like this one. Do you fake orgasms? Oh. <laughs> Well, I would be a liar if I said I didn't. Yeah, sorry. What? <laughs> what do you mean? Wait, Every wait, wait. woman has faked an orgasm. Wait, let's see if it's even the truth. Yeah, might be lying. Yeah, no, I think she's being lying. John? Yes. Yeah, other truth. Adam, you know I love you, but sometimes you're just tired and you just want to get it over with. What? Yeah. Hey, Mark, get her. Go. Okay, okay. Tamara, have you ever ignored one of our phone calls? Yes. <laughs> John, is that the truth? This is an honest person. Very true. Very. Oh, I don't know the truth so far. Right, yes. Gosh, she ain't lying. Okay, Tamara? Yes. Would you shoot a nude sex scene in a movie <gasps> for five million dollars? Ooh, good one, good one, good one, good one. No. John? Wow, she's really a truth teller. <laughs> <laughs> what? I truly believe I'm, my body is priceless. It's it's for my husband. Hold up. <laughs> Wait, is she telling all the truth, John, right now? So far, not one lie. What? <laughs> Tamara. Yes. Would you loan Adrian five thousand dollars? What the heck? <laughs> I really, I really love Adrian. So, yes. Finally, a lie. Right. <laughs> What? I would like to loan her 5000 It's Hot Seat Week on The Real, and we're taking turns being subjected to a professional lie detector test. Yesterday, my girl Tamara was strapped to the chair as we tried to pry some truths from her, and it was hard. But right now, it's time to see who turn it is in the hot seat. <laughs> well, it looks like it's Adrian's turn, Munchkin. Scared. Once again, I'd like to introduce Mr. John Grogan, our professional polygraph expert. He's been monitoring our interrogations all week. Hi, John. Welcome back to The Real. How are you? Very good. Today, Adrian is our hot seat victim. Are you ready, Adrian? No. <laughs> then I'm let's telling begin. the truth. <laughs> okay, Adrian, you like the smell of men's armpits. Ugh. But really, sometimes they do smell bad. Ooh. Right? No. <laughs> Mr. John. Lie. Lie! I knew oh, it! Man. No, they smell good to me. You're so caught up in that whiff, you don't even know that you're lying. Oh, what? <laughs> That's nasty, Adrian. Whatever. And I ain't gonna judge you, though. This time. Me neither. <laughs> Adrian? Oh, my God. Have you ever shown up to a job drunk? <laughs> Just lie. Yes. Lies. Mr. John. Truth. Oh. oh! Turn up, turn up! Adrian, why would you admit that? Because I'm not lying and it's gonna come out anyway, so oh, I'm not okay. supposed to say the truth. Well, I have follow up uh -huh. for the committee. What? Have you what? ever shown up to this job drunk? <gasps> no. No. Mr. John. That's a lie. Oh! 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 o
Sherry. One time I had, we had, I had champagne in the room because we were celebrating the show was doing so well. We were number one. That was yeah, a reason yeah, to yeah. celebrate. We were number one in New York and I had a glass of champagne but in the dressing no, room. No, 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 no. He said that show up. That wasn't the question. We get here at seven o'clock, honey. He said, have you shown up to work <laughs> drunk? You turn up and come straight to work? Okay, move it on, committee. Okay. Adrian? Yes. Have you ever ignored one of your co-hosts' phone calls? <laughs> yes. <gasps> Who? That's true. I'm telling the truth. I was doing something. Whose phone call was Who's it? Phone call? I was in the middle of a whoopee. Is that what they call it? <laughs> Agent, whose phone call? It actually was Tamara. <gasps> I was doing something. Was, there was something happening. Mr. John. That's true. See? How come I get no applause when I say the truth? What's up with that? They're like, she told the truth. I appreciate Whatever. you telling the truth. Yeah. I feel a little better knowing that you were making whoopee. Yes. Because I wouldn't want you to pick up the phone while you're making whoopee. Yes, exactly. I would. That okay, would mean it was not good whoopee. Exactly. Exactly. I want, yeah. Adrian. Oh, God. This is serious. Have you ever lied to any of your co-hosts? <laughs> yes. <gasps> <gasps> Mr. John. A clear truth. Adrian, what did you lie about? We, we oh. asked you sometimes for the show. When you asked us when the husbands were on, if me and Lonnie knew what was happening, you did. I did know, and yeah. that was a lie. Okay. What else you lie about? You a helper. Adrian. I want to know. Wow. Order, 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 Adrian. What? Do you think you look better than your co-host? No. <laughs> Mr. John. She's lying. No! No, that's not true. Oh, yeah. That is so not true. true. Peter, that I'm is learning not learning so much true. about you, Adrian. That is so not true, because there's times that, that you, you don't front. You never came out and been like, damn, I don't Own it, girl. Just own it. Let's move on.